All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build the paper model uh, in your enrichment class for the architecture unit. You're gonna use the materials provided to build this model. Okay. So materials you're gonna need, one is the actual model template itself. It is on a little bit thicker cardstock, has some directions on top, we'll get to it a little bit. You need the views sheet. This is the plan view. Shows the top plan view and all the side elevations that so show you what the model should look like when it's done. You're also going to need the ruler that matches your station number. So I'm at station 10 right now. So this is number 10. You're also going to need your station scissors. So again, station 10 scissors. If you need more, there are also some in the plastic cart underneath the red table. You're also going to need your station's glue bottle. These will be in the red basket back on the red table. So you need all those. Your glue bottle should be fully closed and cleaned off. There shouldn't be any extra glue on there. Same thing when you get it and when you put it away. All right, for the most part, the directions, we're just gonna follow what's on your paper. So the first direction says to cut and fold the front wall. Before that though, we have to score. So scoring uh, is what we're gonna do before all this on all of our folds. So on your paper, there's all these dotted lines that it says fold, it goes across there. Fold, fold and glue, fold and glue. All these dotted lines across here are lines that we need to fold. These are the roof tabs, these are the end of the wall tabs. All these sections on this, this front wall is multiple sections long. That becomes, if you look on here, this section here. So while the first step says cut and fold the front wall, we're going to take a pause on that and score. To do that, you need your ruler and your scissors. We're gonna use the outside edge of the scissors. We are not actually gonna open them at all. You're gonna leave them closed and just use the outside edge of the blade. So you're gonna set your ruler on your paper. You can kind of arrange it how you need to. I like to cover up the part I'm trying to keep and so what you're gonna do is set the ruler next to the line. You're gonna take your edge of your blade, so the outside edge of your blade, line up the ruler so it's nice and straight, and you're gonna score lightly along the edge of the ruler and on that line, or as close as you can get to it. You know you did it if you can run your finger over that line and feel a little groove and you'll see a little bit of a dent in the paper. I got off just a little bit on mine. So I'm gonna redo that section right there. There we go, that's right on the line. I'm not trying to cut the paper, I'm just putting a little scratch into it. So I'm gonna go through real quickly and score all of my lines and so should you. Score them all. And again, it doesn't have to be a lot. The scoring is gonna help us fold our paper a little bit easier. It helps maintain better corners on this heavier paper. So just line up the ruler next to the line and score lightly. Just put that little dent on the fold lines. Make sure you get these roof ones too. And all of them at the top of the walls. Some have them on the ends of the walls. Try to get it nice and straight with your ruler and don't let it move once you have it set. Again, I'm not digging a hole. I'm just lightly pressing against the paper with the sharp edge of the scissors or the dull outer edge. It's still somewhat sharp. Uh, I'm gonna put a little crease in the paper to allow it to fold. Don't forget this up here, your main roof. This one goes all the way across. And then you have these two little ones here to fold and to crease. The 
line it up again. Take the edge of your blade, score, line it up, edge of blade score. Again, just do a real quick kind of a field test. Run your fingers over the edges just to see if you got all the corners scored where they should be. Looks like I am good to go. All right, so now we're gonna follow on. First thing says cut out the front wall. If you look, these are all labeled. So this is labeled rear roof, front roof. This is the left front roof, right front roof. This is the right wall. This is the left wall. This is the rear wall. This whole section is the front wall. So we're gonna cut that out in one piece. First thing I'm gonna do is just cut out around it. So I can get it cut first in one big chunk and then I'm gonna cut it out. So I'm gonna take that, set that off to the side. When I cut this, I wanna leave a little bit of the line so you're cutting right down the center of the line. So I'm gonna cut around the sides first and we'll cut this and then cut the little triangles out. So I'm cutting right down the middle of the line. So the lines are a little thicker than others. So cut right down the middle of the line. Now I'm gonna leave this tab attached we scored it so they could fold. We need that tab. So I'm going to cut up a little bit there. And you can actually see here it split a little bit. That's because I pushed too hard when I was scoring trying to fix it. And that's a problem. That's what happens if you go too much. For right now, I'm going to cut all the way down to straight across the top along these tabs. These tabs are what will glue the roof down. I may need to fix that other piece here a little bit. But we're going to cut that main shape out. So that part's done. What I'm gonna do is go in and cut out these little triangles. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut. And I got these ones. Again, keep a track of your little snippets. Don't let them go flying all over the floor. You will need to pick those up at the end. Okay, so now I have my front wall piece all cut. You can see I have the little triangles cut out for the top. The second step says to cut out the rear and side walls and fold tabs. So because our right and left walls look kind of similar, what you might want to do is label, either on the back side or on the door or something, an R and an L. You can also tell, if you look, the right wall has the door farther to the right. If you look on your plans, the right wall, the door is farther to the right. The left wall has a door farther to the left. Again, if you look on your plans, left wall, left side wall, the door is to the left side. So that's one way to help. The door is on the right on the right, the door is on the left on the left. So the directions say to then cut out the rear and side walls and fold tabs. So here's my rear wall. It's going to cut out basically the outline of the entire thing. This one's pretty easy to cut. So if you want to cut right on the line, go ahead. Otherwise, do like we did for the front wall. And just cut it all off first and then trim around. So I just cut that part. I'm going to trim around the top and the last end. Again, leave that tab attached, that angle then tab attached. That's how we're gonna attach the roof. So there's our rear wall. And again, it looks just like the back wall on the plans. Got the door in the end. And what we're gonna do is just lightly fold that tab. So we scored that tab. We're just lightly gonna angle it. Just a little bit there, you can see. Just a little bit of an angle. You don't want it bent all the place over. So there's my back wall. I'm gonna let that sit safely up there. Clear my scraps a little bit. Now I'm going to start cutting out my side walls. I'll just do one at a time. Cut one out. So I'm doing my left wall first because it's on the bottom here. I'm going to do a basic cut around it. Then we'll trim out the tab areas. 
So cut that, leave this end tab on. Cut up around that top tab. That's gonna hold the roof. Okay, we need to cut out this center part carefully. Again, those tabs hold the roof on. Onto this side. And again, do not cut off that tab. Leave it attached. Okay, so this is our left side. We know because the door is on the left half. Again, just like on your paper, left side doors on the left half. We'll set that up. Actually on this one first, we're gonna fold these wall tabs at 90 degrees. So it should be at a 90 degree angle. Fold this wall tab back. And these ones you're also gonna fold at 90 degrees on the roof. Okay. Put those scraps off to the side and we're gonna go to the right side. Going to the right side now. I'm gonna cut that out. Again, trimming along the edges, leave the tabs. Coming up along the roof, again, leaving the roof tabs, cutting the edge of the lines. And cutting that corner of the wall. Again, we need to fold, but we know this is the right side because the door is on the right half. Just like on our drawing, the door is on the right half. So we're gonna take this wall tab, fold it back 90 degrees, and these roof tabs and fold them back 90 degrees. So again, they are looking straight back, straight fold. Put our other scrap pieces off to the side. The next step in our direction, so we are on step three, says glue side walls to each end of the front wall. Okay, so we have our front wall, which we actually need to fold to. To get the shape for the front wall, you wanna look at the top view on your paper. So then see we have the long section here, comes in and then comes back out and across. So on your paper, this is the long section here. This short section here is the part that goes back. This with the door on it is the middle. Now the short section is this wall, and this door is on there. We know that if we look up at the top view, or the front view. The front view matches that, okay? So the two doors and the wall. So we need to fold this. It should match this shape. So we're gonna take this section, fold it back. Take this section, fold it forward. Fold that one in. So now if you look at it from the top, it sits the same way as the drawing, okay? So it sits the same. And we do have one tab here. We're gonna fold all the way back. So we're gonna take our pieces and just kind of connect them around. So the, the directions say glue side walls to each end of the front wall. So our right side is if we're looking at it from the right. So from top down, this is the right, this is the left, so right left. So we're gonna start with our right side wall. Again, the door is on the right. We always connect a tab to an empty spot. So here's our tab at the end of the front wall. This is the empty spot on the right wall. There's no tab there. So we're gonna end up gluing that together right there. When you glue, do it over your paper, please. We don't get glue everywhere and you really don't need a whole lot. Um, what I like to do, is just put a little dot, just a couple little dots on the tab. This is when you need to make sure your glue bottle is fully open and not clogged up with gunk. So a couple little dots right there and I just spread it lightly on the tab. So you can see there's just a really thin little coat of glue, really thin. What you're gonna do then is carefully, the trick here is keeping it square. So you line up your edges and you keep it flat. So press together and you're gonna squeeze that tab from the back side. If you get too much glue, this part will be too wet and it'll slide around. But you're gonna wanna get it lined up and then squeeze that tab from the back 
just double check that it's flat and square set it down on the table so you can make sure it is squared up and looks good all right so now we got to grab our left side we know it's our left side that matches the left side drawing the door is on the left you notice this one has tabs on both ends of the wall since we're looking at it all from the outside this right side tab connects to the end of the front wall so we're going to do the same thing we did on the right end couple little dots of glue and spread them on the tab so that it gets a nice light coat you do not want too much or else it will slide around and not dry so again the glue on the tab you're going to line it up that's a little light pressure first just kind of holding the paper start applying pressure from the back squeezing the tab and the paper together once you get it stuck you can actually flatten it out a little bit and put more pressure and again set it on the table quick just to make sure that it is square okay so now we have our front and our two ends the next step on your directions step four says to glue the rear wall at both ends to the side walls set aside to dry so we're going to take our rear wall make sure that the door is on the outside of it so when we turn around it'll be sitting like this okay so we've got tabs at both ends so we're going to do one tab glue it glue the other tab stick it together so it doesn't matter which end on this one you start with starting with the left end again just a couple little dots of glue spread it around so you get a nice thin coat make sure you have it upright the tabs go on top and again get it squared up make sure it's even on the end and the bottom top is also kind of important but if your bottom is level then you should be fine so again squeeze that on nice and sticky not totally set up yet but it is nice and sticky now we switch to the other end again a couple small little dots of glue and spread and you're going to line that up and attach so again light pressure if you get a little squeeze out like that with the glue that's okay you can just kind of smear that down with your finger it actually will help it stick a little bit and then squeeze from the back to glue that tab down okay once you have that you want to try as best as you can to get it into the shape and keep it that shape so it should look again just like the shape of the top view flat back 90 degree corners the front comes in it's a little bit bigger than the drawing but it should look as close to that as you can get we're going to take this set it up off to the side the next step step five says cut out the main roof piece that is this part right here so i'm just going to cut that whole part with the instructions off set that to the side for safekeeping i'm going to take just this main roof piece again start kind of wide set off my side roofs we're just going to trim this out again cut right down the center of the line you want a little bit of line on there but not the whole width cut the outline again if you cut the general shape first and then go back in and trim it's a little bit easier so cutting my main shape along the edge of that roof get my scraps out of the way I'm gonna cut out this little triangle part here again leave these glue tabs leave those on you need them both actually all four okay so there's my main roof section 
So on our directions, the next step, step six says fold the large tabs and center roof section down and fold the tabs on the center section up. So what that means on here, we have our large tabs here and here at the end. You're going to fold those down. So they're folding down. Okay, fold it down. You're going to fold the large center section down. So it makes kind of a peak. But what you're going to do is take these little ones and fold them up. These will attach to the side roof. So take this little one here and fold it up. You're going to bring that forward all the other tabs you fold backward so that's your roof you have your main tabs and the center section folded down but your small tabs on the center section folded up okay step seven says glue the main roof on top of the rear wall then along the side wall tabs so we're going to take our model all along this back tab, we're gonna just put a little light coat of glue first, and we're gonna line up the long edge of the roof squared up with that back tab, just like that, okay? So again, the glue, just put a little dot of glue every once in a while. You don't want a ton of glue here. Just a few little dots, then you're gonna smear them and just use the bottle cap for this for right now or your finger it's better to use the bottle cap lightly so again just a really light coat of glue take the roof piece the long straight section you're going to line it up make sure it's really squared up at the corners otherwise it's going to be crooked and it will not fit okay once you get that straight Run your fingers along the back and get that tab glued on nice and secure. And then it said you're going to fold it up onto the side tab. So what that means is we're going to fold it forward and glue it along these tabs on top of the wall. So those are folded in. We'll glue the sides first and then we're going to glue it down on top. We're going to fold the tab down on top there. Okay, we're going to do that on both sides. So we'll start one side, a little bit of glue on the tab. Again, just smear it just a tiny little bit. We're going to fold that over. The tip of the tab, the peak of the tab should match the crease right in the middle. Again, fold that down. You're going to take just the tiniest little bit of glue right at the end of this other tab. Tiny, 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 tiny bit of glue. And you're gonna fold this other part of the roof tab down. And glue that down. So that that stays. Now you gotta be careful to make sure it stays square though. So we're gonna fold this one down or glue this one down now. Again, just a tiny little bit of glue and smear. Glue that down. Okay, wipe off that excess glue a little bit. And then just a tiny little bit of glue on here to get that in place. What you're gonna do then, step eight says glue the center roof section to the front wall. So you're gonna take these front wall tabs and bend them back just slightly. You can do that to all of them. But we're just gonna take just this, just this center section. You're gonna glue it down right on top of this little doorway here. So again, just a couple dots of glue onto that tab. Spread it. And this is where it's really important to line this up. You need to get those corners lined up. This is what's going to keep your building straight and square and help make your other pieces fit. So once you get that lined up and square, that's when you want to squeeze that tab down 
and get it secure. So that it should be pretty square once you have that all attached, just like that. So you're gonna have it all along the back and the side and in the center. Step nine says cut out the side roof pieces and fold angle section down. We have our two side roof pieces. Our left side is a big one and our right side is our small one. Let's start with the left side. Again, you're just gonna trim that out right in the line. Trimming carefully, you want these to be cut straight so that they fit properly. We're gonna fold that down. So we got the main flat piece and the other piece angles back. That's the left side, we're gonna do the right side. Again, trimming on the line. All the way around the outline. Do not cut down that little line. So we got it, we're gonna fold that back. And the last step, number 10, says to glue the side roof sections in place. So the best way to do this is actually with the top roof tab first. So what you're gonna do is put a little bit of glue on the top to get it squared up flat with the roof. We'll put glue around the tabs and then fold it down. So a little bit of glue up here first. We're gonna attach this right along the roof peak. Make sure that is nice and secure. Okay, so you've got that glued down. When you get that done, we're gonna dry fit so that it attaches down here. So you double check that it's gonna match up and square all those corners. It's gonna glue on top of that angle tab here. And it should work just fine. So once we know that's gonna work, we're gonna take our glue and put just a little bit of glue on all of those little tabs. It's a little bit there, a little bit there. A little bit there, and a little bit there. Start on this end wall here, and then get the front wall. Make sure that is nice and square. And once you have those secure and square, then the other two little side pieces just pop into place. And you work up these pieces all from the inside, from the back, supporting them so they don't slide out of place. And it should all fit pretty well. It might be a little off depending on how squarely you glued the corners, but that should fit on there fairly solid. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Glue the top and then the sides. I got a little too much glue on this one tear that a little bit. A little bit of glue on top there. Glue the top section of my roof. Again, making sure it's kind of square. And then I'm going to do a quick dry test. That should fit. So I'm gonna put glue on all the tabs. In, glue on there, glue on there, probably a little too much, a little bit of glue there, and a little bit of glue there. So again, start with that outer wall, the end wall, and the front wall, get that corner square. And then you should be able to fit your other pieces in to place. Your other edges and secure them down. Again, you may have to go over each section a couple of times to secure that tab, depending if you got enough glue or too much glue. All right, so that's pretty good, that is done. It's a little off square, but once I clear my space, you can see I have the model 
it sits fairly flat. Okay, you've got all the sides attached. It looks just like the drawings. If you look at it, there's the back. There's the front. Looks like the front. You've got the right side and the left side and you have the top view. They look correct. So if you got that, congratulations, you are done. It is now time to clean. So you need to close the glue bottle. Close it completely. Take some of your scrap paper and wipe off the top of the glue bottle. It should be clean. There should not be any glue globbed on the surface of that. So it should be clean. All of your scraps will need to get picked up and recycled. You can just sweep all your little bits onto your yellow sheet and use that to carry your parts to the recycle bin. Like so. Your tools all need to go back. So the glue is gonna go back on the red basket on the red table. Your scissors go back under the numbered spot in the door, as does your ruler. Your models need to go into your tubs, and we'll look at those in class tomorrow. All right, good job. If you follow the directions, hopefully you have a successfully completed building model. Get your materials cleaned up and ready to go.